Walking to the edge and looking over the wood rail, I see there is a swimming pool surrounded by a concrete patio coming off the first floor condo. A swimming pool? I question. I don't remember her saying anything about a pool. Belongs to the tenant upstairs. He has had a lot of renovations done to both the units he owns. Oh, I reply with a quirked eyebrow. This guy must be loaded. Leaving the deck to head back into the kitchen, I glance up and see the third floor balcony sits to the right of mine, making it possible for anyone up there not to only see onto this balcony, but also into the kitchen. Continuing on into the kitchen, I see the floors are beige ceramic tile. The walls are painted beige as well, but a shade lighter. Directly across from me is a breakfast bar that extends the length of the kitchen, except for a few feet on each side to pass through. Behind that is an island with a sink. The back walls are lined with cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Walking back into the living room, we head toward the back of the condo, on the way passing a sliding glass door that also leads to the balcony. Continuing down to the end of the hall, we stop to look at one full bath, which is done in gray, and one guest bedroom. At the end of the hall is the master bedroom. The master bedroom is large with light-colored carpet and beige-painted walls and has an adjoining bath with a garden tub, a separate shower, a double bowl sink, and a toilet. My eyes widen at the tub. I walk over and slide my hand along the cold ceramic. I can see lots of long bubble baths in my future. I'll take it. I smile. I can make this place home. Hallelujah! Mrs. Ruth replies, clasping her hands together. I just laugh. Poor Mrs. Ruth has been trying to find me a place for two months, and I have turned down everything she has shown me so far. Let's go back to my office and do the paperwork. You can move in as soon as everything is signed, she says cheerfully. Exiting the building, Mrs. Ruth and I head to her car when a man on a motorcycle pulls up and parks. The bike is cherry red and vibrates the ground beneath my feet before he turns the motor off. Getting off the bike, he removes his helmet and runs his hands through his long, thick, wavy, dark hair. My mouth parts and my breathing picks up. Damn, he is gorgeous. Stepping closer to us, I can see he stands at least six foot, and he is impressively built. The t-shirt he is wearing clings to his skin, outlining his chest and ab muscles. He looks at me with the most stunning blue eyes I have ever seen. Our eyes lock for several seconds before he switches his attention over to Mrs. Ruth, who already has her hand out to shake his. Taking her hand with a puzzled look on his face, he asks her, Can I help you? His voice is deep and smooth, like whiskey on ice making my thighs clench. Shit. Hello, I am Amber Ruth from Jacob and Crane Real Estate Management. Then nodding her head in my direction, she continues, and this young lady is Miss Field. She just rented Unit 2 today. It looks like you two are now neighbors. What? 